Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as Krokgar going up against an ambush uh, by the Skaven. So I have no idea what we're going up against here. Um, whatever. And we won't know what to do until we get into the battle. Have, I'll have no clue. Don't know what we're going up against. He did say that there's some Storm Vermin and Death Runners, but apart from that, I got no clue. So I'll just have to play it by ear. It's on legendary difficulty, so I won't be able to pause it, so I'll have to move fast. Now, luckily, this army here is not super susceptible to ambush. The biggest problem with being ambushed here is I'm just not going to get any time to set up, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it is. It's not that bad. Like, if we were playing as the Empire with mostly missile units, like that other ambush that we did, uh, then we'd be in serious trouble. Another problem is that the army could just be stronger than ours. Okay, here they come. And, okay, they've got Warplock Jezels over there. We need the, uh, the these guys over there right now. Get rid of this. Okay, apparently we've got some magic. So that's good. Let's pop this down right away. Ooh, there's some nasty shit on that way for sure. Alright, we've got some cavalry. Get them out of there. You can move here. Let's try to get our back to the wall as much as possible. Uh, over here we'll do. Let's try and get over here. Alright, I might need to sacrifice a unit just to hold them back. Mm, not yet, not yet. So, they're not Ripodactyls, but we just have to get them to, to get into melee with them. They should be better... Oh, hang on, get, get out of there. Alright, how much magic do we have? Got a fair bit. We should... Not yet, not yet. Not yet. We, we don't have a clear idea of what we're going up against. Now's not the time to, to cast any magic just yet. Let's get into a formation, protect our flanks, and we'll just see what we can do from there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to leave that guy behind. Someone's gonna have to stay behind. Can't be helped. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice one to save the many. Okay, that's probably going to do more damage to their own troops, but I don't want them doing any damage to mine anyway. Alright, we can get into a bit of a fight over here now. It's not looking too bad. Alright, and... Alright, need to get back into the fight with those Jezails. Alright, over here. What, what do we got over here? Storm Vermin. Storm Vermin. Okay, so against that, we're going to have to pop one of these down, which isn't ideal. Who's this? So it's Clan Moors we're up against. Uh, it's not too bad. Actually, I should have cast it over there. Yeah, I really should have cast it there. You get no time to think. Can't pause the battle or anything during legendary difficulty. Get back over here. Everything's a freaking mess. All right, yeah, go and kill the enemy general. That'll make a big difference against the Skaven. Ugh, I don't like them. Okay, I need, I need these over here. We've got to stay away from them. They do so much damage. Okay, here's another opportunity to pop down one of these. It's probably best we steer clear of it. It has a pretty high chance of backfiring. Alright, okay. You come around over here. You need to get rid of these Death Globe uh, Bulbadeers. So, it didn't really backfire, but it also didn't really help us very much. Okay, there's the enemy general. You gotta, you gotta kill that. We've got Warp Grinders. Okay, coming in. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think Crocodile's going to do that much in this situation here. It's one of those Jezels shooting at us. Alright. Well, they pinned them down long enough for these guys to get over here and help. Gotta kill that general. If we can start routing these units, it'd be a big help to us. Alright, back off, back off. We don't want to get hit by our own, own things. There's, there's a high chance it'll happen anyway, but you know, we don't want to. Ah, you gotta love it when Cold One Spear Riders can't take on missile units. Fantastic units, Cold One Riders. Really, truly amazing. How do we go over here? Loads of kills, which is great. Oh, the poison mortars. God damn it, you really went up against fucking Nightmare here. That's why you gotta be more careful when fighting Skaven. Jesus Christ. Man, no, you're still fighting them. Alright, those Jezels have shattered, so that's good enough. Um, I tell you what, some, a spell or two in there would be great. Ah, poisons! They do so much damage, those mortars. They're really good early game units. I can't, I can't get in there either. Where are, I don't even know where they are. Oh, there they are. Yeah. If you ever look, they'll probably have done it. Oh, that's right, their counters don't work properly. Good, you beat them. Great job. Who's this? Who cares? Uh, get over here, charge into this rear here. This one here, because they're, they're, they're breaking. Gotta keep their weapons team away from us. It's not a big deal. Good, over here they're starting to break. Crocar's not in great shape though. Where's that enemy general? Or did he shatter? I don't know, I can't see him. Oh, there he is, there he is. Man. Oh, those are mostly warp grinders. Um, warp fire throwers. Okay, yeah, just keep them busy as much as possible. That'd be, that'd be ideal. Stop fighting over there, come over, over here. I'm not better to use this actually. Disrupted. Fingers crossed there. Pull everyone kinda back a bit. Now you need to get rid of this shit. Where'd the enemy general go again? Ah, oh, shit. Um, oh, if I can get them to kill him, that would really help. Just, just ignore the rat assassin. Can't do much about him. Oh, okay. Good, 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 good. Things are looking something. It's not terrible, but not good e either. It's just, it looks like something. I don't know. Could go either way. Mm, I don't know. Car won't catch up to the enemy general. I'll have to use them to deal with it. Oh, I got, I got, I got that spell. Howling Warp Gale. Get rid of this fuck. Where are you? Get over here. Get rid of them. Kill him. Where are you? Kill that rat. Those those rats don't do well in that situation. Good, we got these guys on the run. We should actually be faster than them. Just ignore him. You stand over here. Come on, he's got like... Uh, actually, I don't think you're going to kill him. 
Maybe try shoot him. They won't kill him in melee. But they might kill him that way. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. I don't want to fight them. How'd you go? Good. Enemy Lord dead. Excellent. That should really help with leadership. Oops. Stegadon's done a good job for us so far. So yeah, you're definitely not walking out of this with a lot of damage. Now you can drop these, but it doesn't do that much damage, and it's better for situations where you've you got a little bit more control over the battle. Where right now, uh, two micro intensives, just don't worry about it. Just keep moving in. You've got to put the pressure down on these fucking motherfuckers over here that missile used doing lots of damage to us. Anyone else lagging behind? Get in over here. Get him in melee, just keep him pinned down until we get over there. Stay it on and can take out all the heroes. Yep. Croco, you take this out. You, whatever. They're, they're losing the fight there, but like I guess it's got to keep them pinned down until we get over there. But I've got basically no infantry left. Just ignore them. Okay, let's let's get a spell cast in. None of these are great spells for it. It's probably not going to do much damage. I don't think we're doing anything there. Just ignore him then. Okay, don't bother chasing after him. You can't catch him. No point running after things you can't catch. Keep that out of it now, because I'm. I think we're winning. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, keep that assassin away from from him. I'm very lucky we didn't take any damage there. All right, there we go. We won. Whew, fucking hell. This could have all been prevented if you had just been a bit more cautious. That's why you gotta, when you, especially when you're dealing with Skaven, you have to move in ambush stance so they can't see your movements. You know, unless you're playing as Chaos. But you really shouldn't be going up against Skaven when playing up, uh, playing as Skaven, uh, Chaos. But anyway, that's the battle won. So, that, the army's severely damaged. It was a very micro-intensive fight, but we got through it. This guy here pulled a lot of weight. Same with him. And this, this one here helped as well, but considering the damage, I think he's gone. Most of these units are gone. So it's definitely going to be a Pyrrhic victory. Just trying to try do as much damage to them as possible. Hopefully you're in allied territory. As in friendly territory. Alright, that's enough. Alright, let's have a look at the diplomatic situation and see if I can give you some advice on your campaign. Now that, you know, that's done. I'd say that more damage was actually done to our army than theirs, but because we killed their general and managed to get a rout, that's how we won the battle. But if their units had um, fought a bit longer, we would have lost. Alright, so the damage is... Three units. Okay, so two units of Saurus Warriors and a Cold One Spear Rider. No love lost for the uh, Cold One Spear Rider, but it did help you a fair bit in that particular battle. Um, and this army here more or less gets away un unscathed. 
Yeah, you're gonna want the replenishment. Let's have a look at the situation. Oh, d d what are you doing? Oh, you've got, you've got, taking attrition. So it wouldn't have mattered if you were in allied territory or not. How much longer is that gonna last? Oh, and we had minus nine leadership. So we had the plague. And we were fighting against the... F Damn. And then they just wounded the guy anyway with it. Oh, God. Well, yeah, that's, that's the luck. That's just how it goes. Well, at least, you know, the battle was won. So let's have a look at how things have been built up. Oh, no. Oh, some advice. Yeah, that'd be horrendous. Hmm, you really need to finish that off. I'm assuming you'll have some regiment of renown. What do you got going on here? Alright, I would highly recommend uh, probably cancelling all these treaties and just declaring war on them. Like, getting a confederation with them is pointless. Um, it's not essential. I'm not going to do that for you. You have to decide on that yourself. And you're fighting Libaris at the same time, that's not ideal. Alright, let me just check something. Oh, but you were also in a camp stance. Alright, stand here. Money's tight, but the thing is, this army here needs to be... Oh, look, there's another dude over there. Let me have a look at that. Tactician. Mm. Not disciplined. Have you been leveled up? Blah! That's good. You should have been in ambush stance, not in camp stance. Um, yeah. You, you don't. I mean, that helped you in this particular battle, but you're not thinking long term. So that's fine, but you just. I don't know. That, that, you know, that actually might have helped us win that battle, but you shouldn't have been in that battle in the first place. Um, okay. So, we could get some of these, but it's probably best to just save them for later. I'd say get the regiment around. Since you lost the, um, how long is this going to last anyway? Let's say. Yeah, we definitely don't want them recruiting new, um, new forces. So, let's get these guys here. Sure, they'll take attrition. And let's... How's Lamia? We gotta be careful pushing forward here. Careful how you tread. There are snakes in the sand. God damn it, your campaign's in troughs a uh, tough spot. But I mean you should be a I mean it's mostly because your army's wrecked. How are you going at your capital? What happened? Oh. oh okay, I thought you lost that settlement, but it's this a bug. Um, okay, I guess, yeah, yeah, this is going fine here. Just, you've got to get some money to, uh, to build this. Once you've built that, you'll be okay. Also, another thing you should really think about doing is Rite of Awakening. Get yourself a, a Life Slan and spam, spam these Stegodons. Really good units. Alright, let's make an attack here. And it could, it, this could essentially be a bit of a suicide mission. I'll fight this manually. But, your army is honestly nothing to be, like, it's just nothing special. So, if we make this attack at Mahrak and lose it, it, lose the army that is, it doesn't really matter. You just, just recruit a new one. Because, uh, what I want to do here is try to get you to 9,000 gold so that you can purchase the uh, the, st the tier 4 Stegodon building. And even with like a handful of settlements, you should still be able to should still be able to um, uh, you know, get like maybe half a stack of Stegodons and it'll make a big difference. Alright, so oh, we'll block Jez out. Oh, god damn it. Uh, we're gonna have to just rush at them. Anyway, this army's got the plague for who knows how long, so if, it, if it's gonna get wrecked, 
it's gonna get wrecked, you know, what are you gonna do? Let's try and make as much money as possible for you in the meantime. Get this stuff organized. Just disrupt them as much as possible because we're going to go for Mahrak as well. So, if you lose the army, the biggest biggest problem losing it would be losing the Feral Stegodon. But, you should probably just replace that with a regular Stegodon anyway. Because they're better. Alright, we're, we're going to be fine here. So they should get wiped out just for losing this battle. Because they've already suffered a defeat recently. Alright, pull that one out. He didn't take any casualties because he's got this thing on. But if he stays in the fight, he's, he's going to take casualties really quickly. I'm lost penalty should be inflicted any moment. But yeah, considering your position here, it's probably better just to be super aggressive with his army and just YOLO it. And just recruit a new one once it's dead, because who knows how long this plague is going to last. And you can't just keep withdrawing your forces and just, just not replenish. Okay, that, that's enough out of that. Pull that one back. Pretty minimal damage there, nothing we can do to heal any of them, so that's fine. And at the end of the day, this is also providing Krokar with more experience, and that's what he needs more than anything, more than his army. Even if he does end up getting wrecked, he'll only be gone for like five turns. Um, yeah. And it would be also good to get Draft Master, so you can actually increase your recruitment capacity. And then maybe even spending a couple turns without an army, just to accumulate shitloads of money. And we could probably go Rider of Primeval Glory if you really want to. I mean, we're not replenished. Eh, it's only 600. Let's mm, do it anyway. Alright, use this guy to scout ahead a little bit. No sense in sacrificing him right now. Okay, there's no one there. Does going into a camp stance reduce the attrition with this? Well, we can't do it anyway, but I'm just curious. Uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't have put the points into this. This was not necessary. So, uh, anyway, let's grab that. And I think we should go into ambush stance here. So this was originally just supposed to be a disaster battle, but I guess I'm turning into a disaster campaign. I'm going to help out a little bit more. I mean, not taxing this. I'm missing out on quite a lot of money, but at the same time... Hmm. Alright. Since... Um, well, we'll see what happens over the end turn. If they, if they come out of Plague... Then maybe we'll pull back and actually try to, to hold on to this this army. But we'll see. So we'll tax it for this turn because we want more money. But I, I like I said, I really want to save up that cash for this. Is there something here that reduces construction costs? No. Um, it's about the Serpent Coast. Yep. That's fine. That'd be very useful. Ugh. We're not going to be able to get a peace treaty with either of them. No, no way. Let's 
So you can get a defensive alliance with them. I don't know if that's ideal either. What turn is this? 55, okay. Yeah, alright, let's move on. There's a decent chance they'll get discovered, but maybe not. They didn't discover us, that's good. So the whole point of that wasn't to actually ambush any armies, was just to stay hidden. If they don't know what we're doing, they can't actively try to attack us. You should always try to be on the attack as much as possible, never on the defense. Dictate the terms of the of the engagement to the enemy, don't have them dictated to you. Having this guy here move back and providing public order might be an idea. Like I said, we could build this for two extra public order and then keep it constantly taxed, because there's good money here. Another reason why you should really try to capture that, but I think I'll just exempt it this turn. We've almost got enough money to get what you need. If I capture Mavrak here, should be fine. Right, so I'm going to put points into public, spread public order because it's on legendary. It, it's on legendary, right? Let me just check this. Yeah, yeah. Um, you don't want to be dealing with revolts constantly. Let's just make sure that Libaris isn't coming to come over here this turn. Alright, that looks fine. How long is that going to last? Two more turns? Alright, whatever. So what we want to do here is probably sack and occupy it. Ugh. Alright, hopefully we're going to make some money out of this. Shit. Well, fuck. Um... In this situation here, we'll never hold on to it, so what we'll do is we'll raise it to the ground. So that we can actually use him to search the ruin to get more experience and also get some gold. Alright, um... You're definitely going to need lightning strike, but you're also going to want geomantic sustenance, which you get afterwards. Can't move in into stances this turn. Alright, that's fine. Um... Almost got the money that we need. If I do this, next turn we'll have it. Okay. Well, another thing that we could do is merge these units, but there's still hope that maybe this plague will end, and that we could just move back into friendly territory and and to just recover a little bit. Maybe. Still very tempting to do the Rite of Primeval Glory. Alright, we're gonna do that. That's the new plan. <laughs> Alright, new plan for you. I'm gonna get you a good army. Because this, this is just not working for you. Alright, I'm not gonna disband this unit here just yet. Or the Razor Don, because they're good units. Alright, if we do this... So what we're gonna do is just... Nothing, basically. Um, this army is costing us next to nothing. If we get wrecked, we get wrecked. It doesn't matter. Um, but a Rite of Primeval Glory will happen at Temple of Skulls. And we might want to transfer the, the Feral Stegadon and this into it. So we'll just see how that goes. But we need to get the money first. Alright, cool. We should be home free to get back into our home territory. But we shouldn't go there just yet uh, until the plague has ended because we don't want to spread it into Resetra. Alright, we got enough money for a Rite of Primeval Glory army. Alright, these are easy. 
Um, okay, that is literally pointing to it, so it's this one. It's good. Bit of extra money. Alright, the plague's ended. Okay. Alright. Okay, here's what we do. Here's what we do. Not gonna do it just yet. I'm gonna do it just yet. Because as soon as I do it, we're gonna make, like, no money. I'm gonna save up some cash. Just a bit. We're gonna make our way down here. Because we want this army to be put into Krokgar's army, obviously. It's not gonna be a full stack, but it'll be more than enough to deal with Bone Boys over here. Or should I say Bone Girl. Just save up this cash. Yeah, we'll make this work. I think with the Rite of Primeval Glory, if you can make a push towards Lamia, this is where the Lightning Strike's really going to come in handy, because they're going to have loads of armies, but your army should be better than all of theirs. You know, one-on-one. -on -one. So, again, you want to make sure that you're the one making the attack. And somebody else will come and occupy that, so don't worry about that right now. Don't worry about assassinations. Bring it back over here. Maintain public order. So we definitely want to build this as well, because with that we can maintain public order. It's, three, it's like a whole turn's worth of income though. I might need him to scout over here. We want to know when they're when they're coming. Um, okay. Got enough money for this. We can start building that now. But then we gotta wait about three turns before we can do the Rite of Primeval Glory army, which is fine. Cause the upkeep on that's gonna be pretty significant as well. Just thinking what we could do. Yeah, because he'll come in here next turn and we'll be able to maintain a bit of extra public order. He won't be able to beat a rebellion though. Because I need that cash. But you, you definitely want to get that going. That's a really important building. Uh, if, if we're doing right of Primeval Glory Army, maybe we should focus more on money. So, get that for cash, and then also, this building here, it provides extra income for more buildings, all regions in this province, and it's really good for slans. Highly recommended, but it is six grand. And... I don't think you should build it just yet. Lizardman buildings can be quite expensive. Alright, just, just hold off, and... No, you know what? We're going to do this now. We're going to bring this army up here now. Okay, we can ju <laughs> just afford it. Okay, it doesn't have any movement to begin with. And that's... We can work with that. We can work with it. It's also predicated on the... On the um, on this actually being taxed, but that's okay. Got enough money to buffer it for a little while. So yeah, we need to transfer those units into Krokgar's army and then make a push for Libaris.
Yeah, if you can spend one turn in the Golden Tower region. That way, even taxing us, providing some public order. Deliver this as soon as possible for me, please. And yeah, you keep maintaining public order. Alright, no sign of Libaros coming down here just yet. Okay, you come round over this way. Level 16. Oh, it's, it's a while before they get to take it on. That's okay. So we got a little bit of cash. We got enough that we can build this. And considering how much money is coming from this region alone, it is... It's pretty important. Part of me is actually thinking we should demolish this and build money. Hmm. Are they ever going to want a confederation? Probably. They're probably not for a long time, but I'll, I'll let you just deal with that. These guys will meet up pretty soon. There is a chance that Clan Wars will push through here, but I really think we need to make more money from it. No, I'll just, I'll just leave it. You, you built that, and I'll let you keep it. Um... Over here, I mean, that's relatively cheap. That'll give income for more buildings, plus 5%. Not that that's a hell of a loss. I'd say just keep the buffer of income up until we get these guys together. Can't, can't justify building that until we've taken Labaras. At least the enemy haven't made any, like, counter-attack on us. That's the most important thing. Yeah, definitely think it was a good idea to raise that. It's probably created quite a buffer with this. Uh, definitely not. We can win that. We can win it with what we've got here. Right, this will have to go back to being probably not taxed. We might want to get some Saurus Warriors. Oh, no, not this time. Um, if I don't tax it, we'll lose a lot of money, though. Alright, stay here for one more turn. And how long does that take to build? Three turns. Okay. Like, yeah, you need the money from here. So that's that's essentially worth 938 a turn for us. We need it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of that. For one thing, it's going to give us some money, and you, we just, since I'm investing into this pro province, we need to make more cash from it. This region, this region here shouldn't come under attack. Money is just too tight at the moment. Keep that there until you get the full growth and get rid of it. Alright, that's, that's fine for now. Don't really need that. I usually get them at tier four. Once you get to, to tier four, all right, that's cool. So they could certainly make an attack on us, but they're just deciding not to, for whatever reason. It'll only be a matter of time before Clan Wars comes at us again. Good, extra campaign movement range, that helps. Reducing construction costs will also help. Okay, so we have got two turns of buffer here. Probably have to have it exempt for one of those turns. You come over here and you transfer these units in. And then go away. All right, so that's given us enough money 
to pay for a few Saurus Warriors. So maybe we could have kept the ones that we had before. Oh, well, it's only 60 upkeep for them. These are anti-large. Could get some Stegodons. Well, I could get five, four Stegodons, maybe. Not many. But these would be way cheaper. Not in terms of uh, c uh, recruitment costs, though. I'll only be able to get one. Let's see. Fuck it. Come back over here just for the turn. We're not going to recruit this turn. It's dead. Build this. Got to get extra cash coming in. If they're not coming at us, we've, we've got time. I'm not going to be able to recruit them from here. Alright. Uh, you come down here as... No, I kind of need you in this province here to maintain public order there. And this one here, that one's all good. Okay, that looks fine. So, how long have we got this Rite of Primeval Glory thing for? 12 more turns. So yeah, we need seven more units, which I believe we can we can only afford the uh, the Saurus Warriors if it wasn't for the recruitment costs. Is there something in here that reduces recruitment costs? Yeah, by twenty percent. Hmm. I'd still only be able to get a handful. Let me just see if there's anything that we can give him that might help with recruitment costs. Yeah, you don't need to get Grabano. Oh, that's good. Alright, that all looks fine. Alright, so we're going to need some cash to pay for these new troops. You don't need this building here. There's no Skaven Corruption or anything coming into this. It is providing 4% extra income, but it's not making much money anyway. And if I demolish this, this is going to pay for, for the troops. And we should replace it with something else right now anyway. I'd probably do the same with this as well. Because it just you just don't really need this over that one. Not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, I'll leave that be. That, that's enough though. Moving on. Alright, so we spend one turn in the Cursed Jungle, recruiting as many troops as possible, and then we make our way over. We might have to get some of those Blessed Skinks uh, to just fill up the fill up the gaps in our army. Okay, so they're obviously heading towards that settlement. It's only Tier 2, not a big deal. Um, I could defend it. But it might be better to let them take it and then take it straight back off them because they won't see us coming. I mean, they can't. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So the amount of money coming from here is seventy-six. Not a valuable settlement, but the big problem here is if we capture it, we're going to get some instability, and public order will certainly go down. Um, but if we stand here, what they'll do is they'll bring this army in and force march, because he can make it over here, and then they'll get us. But what I could... They, he might very well do that still. Come back down here. But they don't ever anticipate that you're going to use lightning strike. Now, from that distance there, I doubt he can get us. Let me just move back a little bit. And go in... No, I can't go into a camp stance. Now's, now's the time for us to get these Saurus Warriors. So based on these armies here, yeah, the anti-infantry variant would be best. And we still have a little bit of cash left over. Alright, this this should be all that we need to take Libaris. Uh, to take, take Namia. Alright, Serpent Coast. Just leave that be. So Public Order's going downhill here, but it'll come under control really soon. And it'll make more, more cash. Alright, you don't need this anymore. So I guess we could build this. Because it's really far... Well, actually, I mean, there's always a chance that Malice could come down there. Hopefully he doesn't. 5%... Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe just leave it for now. 
Just leave that for one turn. And... Yeah, these two will be attached into the army. That'll get us to 18. Okay, let's do that. Moving on. Alright. Big push against against the uh, the Tomb Kings here, against uh, Kalida. That's what we're going to need. Big fucking push. Just let them take it. I could have demolished the buildings, but it wouldn't have been done anyway, so no point. Uh, there's nothing we can do here. Just Honestly, that's probably better than what we would have achieved. Good. That army's dead. Oh no, we lost timber. What will I do? Military alliance negotiated. Karaza Karak clan moors. That happens literally every fucking campaign these days. Yeah, now these vultures are swooping in to take that settlement. So public order over here is probably not great now. Oof. But here we go. This is where we fight back. This is where we start making loads of money through loot, and we'll funnel it back into our capital. Probably shouldn't fight, shouldn't auto resolve this. There is nothing they can do to beat us. We will absolutely wreck them. It's best on units with high entity numbers. Yeah, we'll absolutely wreck them. And lightning strike will reduce their leadership. Not that it'll make a huge difference, but it's better than nothing. Because if we can also get Krokgar some more levels, um, he'll be able to reduce his upkeep further soon. And, yeah, that'll just be better. Um, okay. So I reckon they'll, they'll charge at us over, the, over these, uh, breach, uh, over these, um, bridges here. So we'll want our wizard to cast spells on them. Okay, no, they're not coming. Okay, that's good. That buys us some time to get things organized. They don't have any missile units, so we're all good. Actually, other way around. Oh, they got sepulchral stalkers. Now that doesn't really matter. Okay. Casting spell over here, a uh, chain lightning would be ideal to begin with. Because this flank here is way stronger than this one. This is why I put more troops over this side, didn't I? Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It should be more than enough. Eat my lizard dick. So these, these casts are really good. Not that it was super needed in this battle, but definitely doesn't hurt. Shit, we're out of magic. That's alright, he's, he's more than done his worth now. They'll handle themselves. Last spell.
It's also a good opportunity for these guys to get some experience. And the army loss penalty should be any moment now. Cool, if that's any indication of the, the battles to come, we're, we're sitting pretty here. I guess this is not a doom stack, but it's a start. Taking Lamia, especially if it's currently at tier 5, which it should be. If your capital is reaching tier 5, they should be getting it to tier 5. But that being said, they had to capture it off the other dudes, Silver Host or whatever. Um... Yeah, it should be tier 5, I don't know. We should have a little, little look. Alright, we don't really want to... I could sack and occupy it. Mm, no, just occupy it. I don't want to cause too much public order problems because we don't want to have to go and deal with another revolt. It's okay at the moment. But it'll come with a little bit of instability. So, I think we're better off upgrading this than that, but we don't have the money for it just yet. No. A little bit short. This is all good. Honestly, because because it's going to be a while until you actually get a Stegodon, I'd actually recommend putting him on a Pterodon. It's really good for just flying over, casting some spells, and then flying back. And you have with with this spell uh, with the spellcaster more than enough points to get everything that you'll want. I mean, you've got all the spells you want. You know, you got wind blast tick. One more point to curse me not wind would be okay, but that's all right. Chain lightning tick. Magic, you, you got everything. So yeah, grab pterodon. Right. Yeah. Funnel the money back into our economy. How much does this cost? Okay, you don't need this anymore. It's tempting to build walls, but I think you need money more than... Actually, considering Clan Moors is probably going to come down here at some point, probably going to want walls. If nothing else, it'll buy time. And just get rid of that. And don't build that. Okay. Let's keep pushing forward. And let me have a look at the strength ranking. So it's it's a little bit below even. But I reckon she's got more than one army. That's our advantage. Our armies are better than theirs. And as long as we are always on the attack, we should be fine. Shit, even if she sends both armies up against us right now, we should still be able to beat it. That would give you the ability to deal with Clan Moors, but since she's busy, nah. Now's the right time to strike. Oh, I forgot to check Lamia. You kick them when they're down. She wouldn't have offered peace if she didn't feel like she was losing. Kick them when they're down, then you can focus all your efforts on on um, Clan Moors. And if you don't like the Rider Primeval Army, no worries, you'll be able to recruit a new one soon. Alright, so do you need this guy to check ahead? Alright, nothing here. He has to stay in the province for now. Alright, it's very unlikely they just have units standing right there. Actually, we could check. Alright, so Lamia, yeah, tier 5. If you have a look... They've got a small military presence at Lamia itself. It's eight units, eight or nine units. So, a big concern. Get the money building here. Actually, you might end up making more money with... Actually, you probably won't. Fuck logs. Because it doesn't come with any base income. And if you have a look at it, um, it would only be worth at most 200. And there's no way you're going to sell all of those logs over to these fucking logs. That corruption's going away.
Alright. Yeah. Get to there. And what we probably want him to do... Hang on, how's the public order? Plus one. And that's with him in the province. Hmm. Still, it would take a while for it to revolt. Let's get that. Because we need to have this under control. We don't want to have to be coming back here constantly dealing with revolts. This isn't the part of the campaign where you want to be revolt farming. That part's over. Moving on. Even though, certainly a few extra levels up would help. Another thing that we could do is sack Libaris constantly. That actually might be the best thing to do, because what Krokar really needs is on the cusp in terms of becoming a really great general. Once we get him to rank 20, he'll be able to um, provide one global bonus to public also, but also we've got the geomantic sustenance stuff to do to reduce those upkeep costs. Obviously, if we, as we reduce upkeep costs, it'll improve our economy, so you can find all that money back in there. Cheaper army means you can also get better troops. Alright, so they've occupied this with something. Hard to tell exactly how strong it is. If the military presence is 8, that means across all of this, it's 8 divided, 8 multiplied by 3, so 24 units in total. So if we have a look at this, if that's 14, then there's probably 10 sitting there. Which means maybe there's nothing sitting here. And whilst it certainly would be good to get him leveled up. Alright, I would normally scout ahead, but I feel like because they did this, they gave the game away. Um, and they, they can't reach us from here. If we have a look at their strength rating. They're slightly stronger than us. Okay, that's fine. Because we also want to get that guy leveled up as well. This will be easy. Probably not order resolvable. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we should be able to order resolve it. Should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Because he's got a good replenishment rate. And we're going to sack and occupy it. Yeah. Not loot and occupy. It will lower it down to tier 1, but that's okay. Because they need that money to funnel it back down here. Oh, shit. So, provincial instability is minus 1. Hmm. Which means next turn, it'll be going down by minus 4 a turn. Which means oh, I could just exempt it from tax. There's no money here, so don't worry about it. Once that's built up, we'll just tax it every other turn. Okay. Best way for us to make money right now... Oh, also, Grimlock at rank 18. Um, best way to, ma way to make money for us now, just to produce upkeep costs. Yeah, our replenishment rate was certainly sufficient. We'll have another place where we can encamp next turn to get more replenishment on our way over. Yep, that's good. Again, we'll send him to scout ahead. It's just, it was good for him to get experience. Now, I probably could have done a better job myself, but... Whatever. Alright, with that money... Oh, you haven't got the money building here? God damn. Oh shit, I forgot about that. My bad. If you want to get a peace treaty with anyone, it should be Clan Moors. So looking at Libaris... That... I reckon, take the province, take the province, and then peace out with them. Okay, all well, good. Let's move on. Don't really want to do Rite of Awakening now. Because, um, for one thing, we need the money. We want to funnel the cash into the primary, uh, into our capital province, not this, not the secondary ones. So, military presence of 8, that means there's 16 units across both of those. There's, they're probably at Mahrak, though. But we should definitely be cautious. Their strength rating is still stronger than us. We're going to need to scout up ahead. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay. See, beating this would be good for... Ugh. Let's face it, we can't trust this guy. They're going to... They're gonna, 
they, they're gonna declare war on us. Better to strike first, or else you'll be first struck. Yeah, I think auto resolve will be fine. Just, just yeah, just get rid of them. We'll get a lot of money from loot as well out of that, so it's just a bit of a payday. Um, the these ones here are the biggest problem. Um, yeah, kill and eat, that'll be fine. Yeah, best just get them out of the way. And also more experience for Krokar. We could go with Gifts of the Jungle. Now, as the lizard men, you don't actually need to get that. Because they've got plenty of things in their tech tree and other other bonuses to, to account for it. So you can get 50% replenishment even in red territories. Alright, so you'll definitely need that. And this one here. I don't know if I really should have put that in there. Alright. Send him out ahead to just, just check. Ugh, more. And what we want to be doing is moving in ambush stance. We don't want them to know what we're doing. Alright, got uh, eight grand. See, I could get... Th yes, well, I think it's more important to grab that, because that'll also start us accumulating um, growth again. Cool. And... Alright, it'll take us two more turns to get to Lamia. So we'll need to stand in ambush stance on the edge here, and then make the attack. Or, we actually catch them in ambush. You gotta move an ambush stance, so we caught them. We should definitely fight this battle manually, or else these ones here are gonna die. I don't know if these guys were on force march. Probably should have checked. We can check in, in the middle of the battle, though. Uh, we don't have any missile units. There's no reason to hang back and bomb them. Uh, it's not gonna tell us until the start of the battle. Alright, I reckon we try to like get into combat with these Necropolis Knights. So I just go just all out on them. And then these guys will blob up trying to get us, and that's when we zap them. Yeah, this is not the best army for ambushing. Nor is that one particularly susceptible to ambushes. But it'll be fine. Now, against this... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chain lining, for sure. I mean... It, I don't know. Ninety-eight kills, not bad. But we've also got these carrion on our back, but we can outrun them. Let's keep them tied down for a little bit, so I can pop another one down in a moment. Good, that one was way better than the first one. Way, way, way better. These guys here haven't had a proper chance to shoot anything yet, but I think we're about to. Shit. 
Bloody Necropolis Knights. But still, that's some of their best units, and maybe their other army is is not going to have them because they're they're still restricted to um, to certain supplies. Damage is reasonably spread out. Razor on didn't get get a really good chance to shoot here. They did have a pretty mobile force. I forgot to check it. I guess it doesn't even matter if they were on ambush because they get wiped out no matter what, don't they? Alright, there's the army loss. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, a bit of damage done to us, nothing major. Definitely, definitely worth fighting that battle. Now, I wasn't expecting them to actually have an army at Lamia. But maybe they were in the middle of recruiting it. But anyway, that's definitely a great victory for us. That's going to pave the way for us to get to Lamia. Hopefully it's undefended. So that's where all their military presence was. There, there's nothing garrisoning either Maharak or Lamia, but that doesn't mean there's not armies in the province, they're just not in the garrison. So who's this one at war with? You'd have to take him down pretty soon after. Alright, let's have a look over here. Alright, so yeah, they're standing outside the settlement. And we need another turn of replenishment, but because they've got, like, no army left, I'm going to stand here, assuming I can reach that next turn, and in camp, because that bit of extra replenishment can make a big difference. And we should be able to reach it next turn. There's a big garrison in there, but we, we should be able to beat it. Alright, everything's good. Public order's under control. We can, we can tax this three out of every four turns. Keep the money coming down here, actually making much better coin now. Keep that coming. Reinvest it back into the economy. Also, Krokgar gained a level up. So, we definitely want more reduced upkeep. Next time we can get Renowned and Feared, which is good. Good, making much better coin. What are you missing for that? Scrying pool. Okay, uh, well, we should probably build that. That's actually very important. You need to build it, research the technology, and then get rid of it. But it's got to get done. Oh, they're bringing in more force. So they think they can actually win here, because we weren't in ambush dance. Ah, but look what they've got. They've got, um... They've got Tomb Swarm. Alright, so... Can we win this? Yes, we can. Because their reinforcements will come probably from our flank, maybe from over here. So if we intercept them before they before Kalidus shows up, we can take them out early. Um, they do have... Um, Let's see. Yeah. Okay, good. So we're going to prevent these guys from meeting up with them. That's going to help the balance of power. But we got to not blob up too much with these guys here because they'll cast that, that Tomb Swarm shit and that stuff, that stuff stings. In the meantime, we can have it... Not much power reserve. Have it just doing its own thing. Uh, you know, casting spells and shit. Just just stay back here. Let the, let the Rite of Primeval Glory 
dudes handle this. Now, in this particular situation here, it might actually be better for us to use um, Wind Blast. So this is going to be a lot more accurate. Now, if they pop the uh, the thing down over here, it doesn't matter. Let's wake up. Why don't we keep them away for now? Yeah, one of them. They're nothing more than a nuisance. Yeah, it did, did a decent amount of damage. But yeah, if I cast this, there's a good chance that it'll not hit anything. And we just don't have that much magic to spare. Alright, they casted it here. Alright, I'm going to need the Razor Dons to shoot the uh, Carrion out of the sky. Because the, the Carrion will actually beat our dude here in melee. Well, at the, at the very least do a lot of damage that we don't want done. Take him out, please. Alright, keep him in melee just to, just to stop him from moving. Might be better to actually have Quokar sort him out. The rest of you just come over here. Get a little bit of friendly fire, but they're a bigger target, so it won't be that much. Well, problem is here. We're actually blocking our own shots. Okay, good, they're gone. Razor Don should be able to beat the Skeleton Horseman in a skirmish. Down there, if you could. Good, decent amount of damage. Oh, we're taking a little damage ourselves, though. Oh, it's probably because of these. These sharp tooth great bow. Um, okay, we're gonna need the carnosaurs to go wide. I, I need them. I need them dealt with. Try and move out of the way, but it doesn't last long enough for you to really dodge it. Alright, use them to pin them down just for the time being. These down. All right, let's charge. Just ignore that. Based on what I'm seeing here, I'm pretty sure we're going to win.
seeing what we could cast with one of our last spells. I reckon that there would be probably the best. Hang on. Someone needs to go take out these and sharp teeth. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's these ones here. The ones with great bows. Those are the ones that I don't care about. Wow, 173 kills. They did well. Alright, get back over here. Cool. And... Victory's in our grass. Cool. So we've taken a fair bit of damage. We could attack Lamia over the next turn. It's a bit of a risk with a uh, damaged army, but we'll see. I mean, we are also running camp stance. Damage is not that bad. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. So army loss penalty shouldn't be too far off. Just waiting for that army loss penalty. There it is. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, none of the units got wiped out. I mean, it did say that, but it was just the um, cold ones. Good, and with... Pretty close to 50% replenishment. We'll be in really close to perfect shape. We should be okay to make the attack. There will be some really good units in there, like uh, Necro Sphinxes. I'm not sure who will win, the Carnosaurs or the Necro Sphinxes, but we'll see. So they've still got an army out there that's about equal strength to us. Well, I'm pretty sure it's not at Lamia. Ugh, garbage, but... You know what? I'm not going to put any points into it, because I'm not going to get it killed in the next battle. If you want to make it immortal, that's up to you. Um, I, I just... I don't know. Um, as for this dude here, just... Yeah, make him have a bit more health. Alright, we're not in perfect shape. And they got no military presence. Oh, okay, we're actually significant... It's weird that she doesn't want peace now. For a queen, and I might... Yeah, that's weird. Doesn't matter. We're gonna take Lamia now. Oh, man, I wish these guys weren't here. So we not only do we need to win this battle, but we need to win it well so these guys here don't declare war on us. They've still got that as well. Alright. So, three Necro Sphinxes, that's going to be the hardest thing to deal with. I'm not too concerned about the Hero Titan. Um, no experience on any of the units, and no bonuses from the Lord. Let's just do the best we can. Well, one thing where the AI really fails at, what they do is they, they leave so many of their units in reserve. If we attack with all of our force at just a weak point, um, we can fight at our full strength while they fight in waves of weakened strength. So we'll just punch through here.
Alright, let's do this. So, everyone up on the walls. How's our magic reserves? Not well. Not very good. Okay. So, get the Carnosaurs to... Yeah, to, um... Knock down the gate. So, we're not going to have a lot of magic. Uh, I'm going to need her to... Oh, no. Need her to... Why do I keep calling her? Need the skink to slow down these uh, skeleton arches for a bit. Because I could, I could put my Saurus Warriors up on the walls, but what will probably end up happening is that they'll, um, they'll just put their Tomb Guard up there, and that probably isn't going to be ideal for us. Spirit leeched me, huh? So that was from the Hero Titan. But it's only got, I think it's only got one of those. This one here, just don't shoot right now. How'd that go? 39 kills, it's as good as it's gonna get. That wouldn't be terrible. Fuck. Pull in here a bit. Gates are open? Alright. All beasts through. They've already got they've already got two necro sphinxes here. Everyone through the gate. So that that's just there to tie them down, stop them from attacking us too much. Uh, this, this is gonna be a hurt. We're gonna, we're gonna get hurt in this battle for sure. Alright, maybe a Curse of the Midnight Wind might help, because that'll reduce their melee attack, so that'll help out guys significantly. Right, I want to get the Carnosaurs over here really quickly, and sort of come around the flank. So Necro Sphinxes are anti-large, so are Carnosaurs. I don't know what my point is. Basically, I just, I just want to eat their ass. Alright, I want to get these guys around the, the flank here as well. They can sneak through. Yeah, that was a good spot for them to do it. I mean, we're stuck in a blob. Not much we can do about it. Can't get out of the way now. I just got to break into the spot. Once we're broken up, we uh, broken into it. Here. here we can split out our forces a bit more. Doesn't really affect the beast too much, and we are starting to get rid of these necro sphinxes pretty well. Okay, our guys haven't taken all, all that much damage, everything considered. Probably after this particular engagement here, we don't really want to use the Source Warriors too much. They haven't taken many casualties, but they have taken a lot of damage. Alright, so all their beasts over here are getting taken down. Sorry, their constructs, gonna be specific. Alright, both Necro Sphinxes are down, just the Hero Titan left. Maybe have these guys come up on the walls here. Sort these archers out. Hero Titan down, very nice. 
Alright, I think we can speed this up. The worst of this battle is over. So yeah, just wait here. As they keep sending units over here to basically get wrecked, that's ideal for us. Just one at a time. Alright, Necro Sphinx incoming. Too late. It's moving too fast. Right. If you come over here, maybe we'll shoot the uh, the tomb guard halberds over here. Good. That's their last Necro Sphinx as well. And those are the things I was most concerned about. Alright, it's down. Cool. Come back here. Alright, like I said, let's get these guys spread out so that if they do cast it, which they probably will again at some point, that it's not going to wreck us. Basically, just use the, the big beasts now. Hang on, not yet. They'll be able to handle it. This one he didn't take that much damage, neither did this one. So it says victory is within our grasp, we just need to get the the army loss penalty. So probably still need to take out maybe half of these units. Might be a good idea to keep this one out of the uh, the battle now, just so that it's not it doesn't keeps our downtime off. Bloody hell, it just went berserk. What you want to try and do is try to make sure they're all equally damaged, rather than one unit really, really badly damaged. Just helps with the down. Oh, okay. Well, that happened a lot sooner than I thought it would. So that actually went pretty well. If we had to fight the Beastmen straight away, I think we could take them. But with this, it's no longer a disaster. You should have more than enough finances coming in now to be able to deal with both the remnants of Kalida and also Clan Moors. So I definitely don't want to sack and occupy that. And we've got plenty of money here as well. And you got a much better army. And Krokgar, I'll let you level him up how you want, but definitely renowned and feared. There's extra 400 gold in that for you. All right, that all looks good. So what I would recommend at this point, capture Mahrak and then peace out with Kalida. You don't really want to come out here yet. So capture that and then make a push against Clan Moors. Your army should be pretty good dealing with them. If you get ambushed, like, ambushes mean almost nothing to these units. It would only really hurt this one here. And as you continue to level up, very... Oh, look, we could also get Grimlock now. I could have had him in that previous battle, actually. Um, but yeah, that, that'd also be really good to make your army a lot stronger. And then eventually you'll get Honored Elder, Public Order, plus one all provinces. Really useful. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time, fuckers.